There it is, the big daddy, the queen. Big daddy and the queen. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense from a gender standpoint. Regardless, we've got a 38 FLSA front living five slide pinnacle here at Halet RV of Goldwater, Michigan. Their best selling pinnacle for the last couple years and for good reason. This floor plan just straight up and down rocks. Um, there's a lot of things on a pinnacle you're not going to find elsewhere in the market and it's the little detail stuff that separates Jayco from a lot of brands. There's a lot of good fifth wheels out there, don't get me wrong. There's not a lot of pinnacles. There are differences. And uh, I, if you hang with me here and you follow me through to the entirety of this video, I think you're going to see what I mean. Um, along the way, I'm probably going to stammer and stutter and forget my words, so bear with me, but hopefully we'll have a little fun and learn something together. Not every 38 uh, FLSA we have is going to be equipped exactly like this one. For instance, the uh, um, awning toppers here. This is, uh, these are a feature that we've heard a lot of big demand from our customers on. They seem to really enjoy those and the uh, way that that eliminates a lot of the maintenance required on the coach. Um, the uh, nice part about that is it helps protect your slides, which is one of your more critical components because it moves in and out. It's, uh, it has the same type of roofing system as the top of your RV. A lot of people don't think of that for some reason. It's a, it's a real critical uh, thing here. Now, um, this uh, vertical cabinet on the right, this is where you can put an outside television station. They make uh, like a little swing out, slide out type brackets. Very cool. Um, we'll put them in sometimes. Sometimes we'll leave them out. It depends. So again, the unit we have in stock might be different from this video, but uh, that, that's always good for like folding chair space and all kinds of stuff. And it, again, detail stuff. The uh, little utility drawer here. This is the perfect spot for a couple screwdrivers, some bug spray, sunscreen, uh, you know, a little power screwdriver and flashlight. All those things you always wish you had and you, you get to, it's like, ah, oh, let me go dig it out. It's right here. It's easy. And it's up high. It's in a space that's not usually in your way. And you can still get a big basement here, which a lot of front living rooms don't have, um, with, the, uh, with the drop uh, frame that it has. It's a 12-inch I-beam down to a 10 and then across that gives you this extra storage space. You can literally sit a grown man up in here. Little detail stuff, they have the central vac located down here, not in the living room, so that when you're done cleaning, you don't get this poof, dust of yuck in your living room, you know? Now, a couple things. Under this floor deck, we have all kinds of insulation, including radiant foil insulation, batten insulation, all kinds of stuff, um, down all the way to the underbelly enclosed skin, which if you notice is actually on top of the I-beam. It's not screwed to the underside of the I-beam. It's C-channeled in place so it can't fall out of place. Uh, it's not a common problem. It can happen, not, but not in a Jayco, obviously, because they C-channel it. And then when we look up, Instead of a plywood floor deck, because that's what this is, there's no OSB in here whatsoever, um, not in the construction side of things, the uh, um, floor decking has another layer of that astrofoil on there. And then we have a heat duct down here. So this pocket is heated. The underbelly has forced heat. We have heat in the cabin. You have multiple heat zones. And it's engineering like that that gives us a 0 to 100 degree test rating. Um, uh, the uh, pinnacle is wide body. This is 102 inch wide versus 96 inch wide. That's a difference, big difference between most fifth wheels out there. There are not a lot of players in a wide body market. Um, but everybody seems to be about the same price as a pinnacle, but their RVs are six inches thinner. So you do the math on that. It does, it does mean this is not the lightest girl at the ball. This is 14 too. She's not a, a small one. Um, but, I mean, it is not made to be small. This is not an ultralight. This is a well-insulated, thick-walled, um, you know, uh, couples camper made for, like, park living or traveling. Um, they also have the largest front compartment in their class. And I like, we have this generator prep. That's an option. We usually put in these, not always, but uh, you don't need to put a generator in it. You can. Um, also, what this does is it opens up a utility shelf up here, and they have room for six batteries in a Pinnacle. This does have an all-electric slide system and uh, leveling system. Everything's electric, not hydraulic. It will meet, Hydraulics will move a little faster, absolutely, but hydraulics do not um, work very well in the cold. And if you're going to tout, hey, we're a good cold weather camper, then you need equipment that works well in the cold. Um, I also like just little utility stuff like their um, leveling uh, monitor is in this handy little access panel where it's easy to get to. And we, of course, have an all-enclosed docking station. And they have this very nice and easy to read um, chart here to show you how you flip your switches to make it do whatever you want. It's not complicated. They, I mean, you don't even have to know how to read. You can just look at the pictures. Um, 
moving on here, you know, little detail stuff again. Not only are the sidewalls a true high gloss, I mean, you can see the sun shining off in that. What I recommend is a lot of, you know, laminated fifth wheels you can come pound on the sidewall. Walk up to the side of the slide outs and thump on them. In a, in a Jayco, they thump back because it's all vacuum laminated. Um, they don't just hang fiberglass over a skeleton sidewall. That's not structural. It will save you weight, it'll save you money, so it's not necessarily bad in that respect, but if you're looking for something made for longevity and return on investment, this is the type of thing you want to look for. Um, front and rear caps, uh, also uh, coated to, you know, like um, sun prevention um, mechanisms put into the mixture so that you don't uh, experience like uh, the real bad fading that a lot of brands saw in years past. That's something Jago's done for a while, but it's good to point out. Not everybody knows that. Um, also, little things like little receiver hitch back here. So if you want to throw a couple bikes or something back here, it's perfect. Even if you're couples camping, a lot of folks like to bring a few bikes with them, but you don't necessarily want to throw your huffy in your in your kitchen. That's not the idea, obviously. Um, frameless windows here on the sides of the trailer and they have that slick space age look we, these are thermal windows we usually upgrade our pinnacles not always usually upgrade these to a thermal window and the other thing i like is they're uv tinted to keep the sun away from the seals under the window pane detail stuff again we have four entry steps four entry steps four entry steps in the back four in the front not four and three that's Again, one of those little Jayco differences. Both entry doors are the wider entry doors. Both entry doors have the bigger window. It's little stuff like that. Um, I, I don't have it on currently, but there is a uh, LED light strip at the full base of the awning. And if you look real close, do you see how the awning sleeve shines? This has an extra fabric guard at the base of the awning to help protect your awning fabric from um, sun, wind, rain damage, all that kind of stuff. So your awning doesn't prematurely age and decay. Little keyless entry so that if we're going to go tubing or kayaking or riding our bikes, we don't have to worry about, uh, you know, accidentally dropping a key out of our pockets. Pardon me as I come in here, do some shoddy work, and uh, uh, lock this behind me. Um, oh, lights. Let's flip some lights on. That would probably be good. Uh, one, two, three. Bang. And then living room. Boom, boom. We have all kinds of individualized lights. So you can turn off, like, if you want to just sit here and read at night, you can do that. Um, or light the whole thing up like a Christmas tree like I'm doing right now. Um... I think this is called champagne. Is that right? I thought this was called champagne. The uh, color scheme. It's uh, like whatever this is. It's a uh, cream colored leatherette with uh, darker fabric accents. And they work really well together. Um, the whole thing here. I mean, this is what you see when you walk out in the morning and, and you're looking at your RV. Boom. Here's the view that you get. We've got a like diesel pusher style light fixture with indirect lighting up top, and that has a ton of lighting I haven't even lit up yet because I don't need it. This has so many lights per square foot, I just don't even need it. I don't even have all the kitchen ceiling lights on. Um, also, you don't see an air conditioner anywhere. Anywhere. That's what these grates are for. This is a um, Whisper Quiet AC system. It has superior airflow to a, uh, a normal AC ducting system. It doesn't mean it gets colder. It means it gets down to temp faster, and it's like... 90% quieter. It's drastic. It is. It's extremely different. Uh, we'll come back to the kitchen in a minute. Let's move upstairs and work our way back. Um, so first of all, we have uh, triple steps, not double. So it is easy to get up and down. Um, these two sofas are both high to beds. They both fold open and almost kiss in the middle. You can just scoot between them if you need to get up front. Um, naturally, uh, living room and bedroom TVs are standard on a pinnacle. We simply have them shipped loose to keep protected for you so that they're fresh when they get to your house. Um, and you see that, uh, I mean, it's, it's a 60 inch high def flat screen. It's like sitting in your own, I mean, a true home theater. You're this close to the entertainment. This is at Boardwalk and Park Place right here. Um, this little stool right here, perfect little cushy footstool. Um, actually, speaking of cushion, that's something people don't realize. People sit in this, they go, wow, wow, this is just way nicer than average camper furniture. Well, when you're in a pinnacle, they're willing to spend more money. This is a gel-infused foam. So it's a combination gel top and memory foam. It's very cool, very comfortable, and it wears very well. That's the thing I like about it. Again, it'll hold up. Um, uh, we also have all, our uh, TVs are Furion, or our electronics are their Furion brand. Furion is made for the RV business. It's made to get hotter, colder, shaken really hard without falling apart. You can store this thing in the winter without taking out the TV with zero worries of it having a problem. Um, and uh, also, when it is getting a little chilly, we have our electric space heater here to take out some of the chill out of the air without burning up your propane, you know. Um, a true 
walk in upstairs up here, you know, even uh, putting my head all the way against the rear cabinets, there's still headroom up here, and I'm 6'3 with my current shoes on. So you do not have to worry about the upstairs feeling cramped or too small. It is, it's bigger than uh, a lot of fifth wheels are uh, in, in their front living rooms. A lot of the reason is because it has a six inch double arch, arched inside, arched outside. For me, I like that because that's really strong in the winter. You've got a double arch roof. That is going to hold a ton of that Midwestern uh, winter weight if you are not able to store your RV inside, which I always recommend you do. Um, our windows, like I said, they are uh, a thermal pane, but we have two section day-night roller shades so you can have as much or as little light and or privacy as your little heart desires. And I love this little cubby next to those chairs right there. It has a pair of USB plugs, so a little nerd like me can plug my phone in and always have uh, entertainment at, uh, you know, arm's grass. Although what's funny is when I go camping, because I do go camping, I turn my electronics off by and large. Um, that's, I don't know, that's just not what camping's about to me. I, uh, I guess I grew up um, when we didn't have those fancy widgets. I think we did a lot of dry camping, actually, now that I think about it, because I, I used to like to turn the lights on at night, and my parents would tell me we need to save the battery. Um, so we've upgraded to the larger refrigerator here, which we'll typically do on almost any pinnacle. Um, and this does have an inverter, so you can run this going down the road, no sweat. Uh, we have all solid surface countertops. Um, there's really cool like um, uh, lights at the, at the base of the island I've turned off. And those, the switch that controls this light down here also controls some base lighting in the bedroom. So at night, if you want to sneak to the refrigerator or if you want to sneak to the bathroom, you have a night light that doesn't disturb everybody. Um, oh, I forgot to put the sink covers out. But let's look at all the storage in the kitchen. I love this little hutch area right here. Um, it helps segregate the kitchen and define the kitchen from the living room without blocking it off because it's still nice and open. It still has a good flow and feel to it. Uh, we have all kinds of charging stations over here. Um, the, uh, there's hookups if you want to throw extra electronics down here, you can do that. You can have all kinds of multi-zone entertainment going on. The island's pure storage, by the way, and I love the inclusion of the uh, trash can built right in down here. This is another one of my little uh, personal favorites. The, uh, the hideaway power tower. It's got two residential plugs pointing different ways, so if you got those big bulky adapters, there's always a way you can snap it in here. And it's got a pair of USB plugs, because again, more and more stuff runs on USB. Um, the stove's recessed with a glass top to give you maximum usable countertop space. And just even the little uh, backsplash inclusion down here. And this is real tile, that's not, uh, not paper. Um, you know, we've got four drawers for lots of, uh, like, spoons, forks, knives. And then we've got uh, a drawer and a drawer up top. And this is full extension. You can truly fully extend these all the way. Um, and, uh, you know, there's even additional storage under here. And uh, under the stove is an area that most manufacturers don't tend to spend money putting drawers for storage. And this pantry, floor-to-ceiling pantry here, is uh, sweet because it has adjustable shelving. You can arrange it however you want to. And, of course, I, I love the classic Jayco uh, emblem emblazed on that. That's the logo, the way it looked like when I grew up, so I don't know. I guess that speaks to me. Um, the, uh, this is a couple's coach by and large. You may have guests. So they include a pair of these little fold away chairs. They sit the same height as the other chairs. They're obviously decor matching and you can stuff them in a closet when you don't want them. And this table extends out and there's a hidden leaf inside. Now check out these almost floor to ceiling windows. Those are about the biggest windows you can put in a slide out. That's as close to the ceiling and floor as they can get. And, uh, wow. You're sitting here having your bacon and eggs, and obviously there's a trailer parked here, so it's a bad example, but, uh, I mean, sitting in your chair, you know, if someone's coming up to knock on your door, you can see them, you know? And between the tent outside and that, if you pull that down, they can't see you. So you get that little, uh, you know, uh, one-directional aspect. We have wall controls for our power ceiling vent fan up here. You can set it to an automatic mode. Uh, you don't need to be 10 foot tall to get to that thing. Speaking of tall, let's go to the bathroom. Um, all of the lighting in this is really sharp, by the way. But again, speaking at all, you're never going to hit your head in here. You're never going to feel cramped. And this is a one-piece, structurally reinforced shower. What I mean by that, I can demonstrate. For instance, uh, not every fifth wheel, you can do this. You can't jump in every fifth wheel. You can't punch the cabinetry in every fifth wheel. I can do those things in your Jayco's. Um, the, uh, you know, all heat and hinge cabinetry. So if, if you're going down the road and the store bounces open, it tries to close itself. 
so you have less of a chance of all your stuff falling out. And like I said, built well, built very well. <clears throat> Moving back here to the bedroom, here's the, oops, here's another cool thing. We have a rear entry door that is pop, right to the bathroom here, right to the bedroom. You can get to your almost anything in the RV without having to open it all up. Um, Pinnacle Standard has a king bed, and the reason I think that's important is they built it that way, so th they plan on a king being here. You can actually option down to a queen, but when you plan on a king being here, they had to plan on the walk-around space around the bed and on that side too. That's something not every manufacturer seems to understand. They'll build it with a queen with this much walk-around room. Then they upgrade to a king, and you can't walk around the bed anymore. It's stupid. Now, this is a massive deal to me. They have, even with a king bed, shelves on both sides of the bed with residential outlets. So your CPAP machines, your phone chargers, alarm clocks, all that, they're right where they're supposed to be. And very few slide-out fifth wheels have that. Very few. Um, the rear wall is nothing but storage, and it's got to be at least two feet deep, if not more. Um, this is a cedar lined cabinet down here with the, uh, the, the fully mirrored sliding panels. Uh, this up here is just pure additional bonus storage, so like if you have extra sleeping bags or blankets or anything, the stuff you're not going to get to every day but you need to keep with you, that's what you throw up here. Notice that both air conditioners are centralized. You do not have to, uh, you know, run this one separate. Um, they actually both have their own thermostat you can run them separately if you're on a 30 amp campsite or you can run them together on a 50 amp and they will they can work in concert with one another sharing a ducting system this is prepped uh, and ready for a stackable washer dryer if you are so inclined to do that big windows here in the bedroom that again open for breeze the uh, bedroom TV it's funny it has a swing arm bracket although it's facing directly across from the bed I don't know that it needs to but hey why not um, the uh, other thing here is up in this area they have more charging stations for more devices and this oh, I forgot to talk about it, this mattress it's a I relax mattress um, and without you sitting on it I, I can't give you the full effect this is nice this is very comfortable and I know a lot of people buy an RV like this with the intention of swapping out the mattress I don't think you're going to need to it is very nice and comfortable um, Man, I've barely touched on the construction. I'm, I'm approaching 18 minutes here quickly, and i got to wrap this up. But all we've really talked about is the stuff you can see. I haven't talked about plywood roof decking instead of OSB, which is industry standard in this class. Um, I haven't talked about the uh, tongue and groove plywood floor, so that it's not going to uh, you know, squeak, squeak and creak on you. Um, you know, I haven't talked about vacuum lamination instead of pinch rolling. There's a lot of things I haven't discussed yet that are really super critical to define the differences between a Pinnacle and so many other things in the luxury category. So uh, give us a call because there's a lot more to learn. This is a big investment and we put this uh, footage together so that you can make an educated investment. And that's, you know, a lot of people will say we'll give you good service. Um, we're, we're doing that before we've even met. Uh, they're, they're, you're probably learning more in this video than an, an average salesman and an average dealership knows, period. Um, imagine what we can share with you once we get to know you and we know about your family and your truck and how you're going to camp. We can get you set up with the perfect rig so that you're towing safely or deliver it right to your campsite and set it up for you. We do financing, trades, hitching, parts, everything. We do everything. So give us a call. We're fun and easy to work with because that's the whole point. This is supposed to be fun and easy. 800-256-5196. Haywood RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care. Stay safe. Happy camping, everyone.